Hello, everybody. My name is Wolfgang Schwarzmann. And first of all, I want to thank the team of ECAD 2020 for providing this digital solution. I'm a research assistant and PhD student at the University of Liechtenstein. And this paper is part of my ongoing PhD studies and does pose a current image of my ongoing investigations. The paper, Traditional Knowledge on Modern Milling Robots, wants to show how CNC joinery machines promote a renaissance to lost techniques, especially in the profession of a carpenter. So this research project is not about what new things might be possible with technology, but more on the question how these new solutions already affect the things that surround us. When we take a closer look at this image, we see the carpenter from 1658 and a robot from 2090 that are working together on the same piece of wood. So the question raised by the carpenter is, we are working together, aren't we? So somehow he challenges the situation whether this is still what he wants it to be or what his profession might stand for. So to give a first small example, we take a small uh, a closer look at these two images. Some of you might know the Ulm stool that was uh, originally designed by Bill and Google in 1954. And it provided the starting point for the C stool on the, le on the left, on the right side. Uh, that was a new interpretation by Jochen Gross. He translated the characteristics of the Ulm stool into an object produced with technology right at state of art. So, what does this mean for the profession of a carpenter? Even though the profession of a carpenter does already exist since 7,000 years, its core tasks had some significant changes over these years. Um, for example, at the beginning of the 19th century, they got steel brackets and nails that changed their profession totally. And in, in the early 1980s, CNC technology revolutionized their profession even more. So, on the left side, we can see our case study carpenter workshop that we work together with. And on the right side, you can see a wood wood connection. So when we were conducting the interviews with Gerhard Berchtold, who is the owner of the workshop and a skilled carpenter, he came up with the quote that once there came the time when craftspeople didn't find the time to make a wood connection anymore. So he described, so as described by him, the profession of a carpenter did change dramatically over the last decades. According to Richard Zenet, the work of craftsmen has a deeper motivation than just providing a product that was ordered by a client. To meet his, this deeper motivation for Berchtold, three core values had to be fulfilled. Cost, the result has to be affordable. Second, regional resources, construction material has to be regional available. And third, craft. The construction has to meet his definition as being authentic to the profession of a carpenter. Well, the third one is of course the most interesting and yet I think hard to answer point. For Bertel, it is of course not enough to just erect a building the fastest way. So he came up with this proposal. Uh, he made a modern interpretation of a dovetail. With, this profession, with his profession-specific knowledge, this craftsman could develop a solution that was produced with regional resources on a local operating CNC robot. The final produced solution was only possible due to a labor-intensive process conducted together with the machine supplier and programmers. For Berchtold, a lot of small details had to be taken into account to meet his expectations of how a contemporary dovetail has to look like. To give a proof of this contemporary interpretation of a dovetail, he erected a single family house. And even though a CNC joinery machine did most of the processing steps, the final project does meet his definition of wooden construction that was built by a carpenter. So knowledge that was crucial for the last few hundred years but then pushed back over the last decade, now starts to reappear as contemporary interpretation on CNC processing machines. By developing the solutions, 
the CNC robots can be seen as the next step in a row of historic instruments like an axe or a saw. So this examined case study shall illustrate my approach of how to further develop this ongoing discussion of translating knowledge between human and robot. And as next step, is it is planned to investigate further case studies to give a broader spectrum of these, of these observations. So I want to say thank you for your attention. Um, I'm highly interested in your feedback. I hope that you read, of course, the paper that I submit to the conference. Um, I would be happy if you could um, come up with some interesting literature that I shall read. And of course, I'm looking forward to an exciting discussion. Um, I hope you can enjoy the rest of the conference and stay safe. Um, best greetings from Liechtenstein and maybe see you soon. Tschüss.